So today we are going to see if we can make two wires move. And these wires are not magnetic, they're just made of uh, copper with some plastic around them. So we can't make them move like magnets move, but can we turn these wires into magnets? So let's have a look at the equations and see if we can figure this out. So if I have a current carrying wire, so here the current is traveling in this up direction, we're calling it I1, a wire with current traveling in it generates a magnetic field. And you can figure out the magnetic field that it would generate by putting your right hand, your the thumb in direction of the current, and your fingers curl around in the direction of the magnetic field. So here we see that it's coming out of the board on the left and um, into the board here on the right. And it gets weaker as the magnetic field gets weaker as we travel away from this wire. So in case you're interested, the formula for this, the magnetic field, is related to the current divided by um, this distance r times some constants. Now if we stick another wire in here, um, this wire will feel a force because of the magnetic field of generated by this other wire. So to figure out that, um, what we do is we use our right hand rule again, we put our fingers in the direction of the current, we bend them into the direction of the magnetic field, and we see that our thumb is pointing here to the left. So this current moving through I1 generates a force on the other wire, I2, and we can see the formula for this here in case you're interested. This is a force of I L cross B. So, of course, I2 is also generating a magnetic field, and so wire 1 will feel uh, an equal and opposite force. So we would expect wi wire 1 to feel a force, wire 2 to feel a force, and they're both toward each other. So this is what we would expect. Now, what would happen if we put these in opposite directions? So now we have... Uh, an opposite current. Here, the magnetic field from I1 is um, kind of in the opposite direction. It's now pointing toward us where the second wire is. We can put our right hand in the direction of the current. We bend our fingers toward B1, direction of B1, and our thumb points to the right. So we get a force on wire 2 from wire 1 that is to the right. And, of course, we're going to get an equal and opposite force on the other wire. So now let's have a look and see if this works in real life. So I have my two wires here. I can put a lot of current through that with this transformer here. So I'm going to put in 120 amps of current. I'm going to put my uh, polarity so that the current is traveling in the same direction. And so now this is the two wires, current traveling in the same direction, and now I turn on my current, and we see that indeed there's a force that pulls these wires together. Now what happens if I flip this, so now the current is traveling in opposite directions, and I turn this on, and we see that the wires are pushed apart. So here we've basically turned non-magnetic wires into magnets just by running electricity through them. So it's uh, not magic, it's physics, and I'll see you next time. Well, thanks for watching. It looks like I survived today. Um, but if you want to find out if I survive the next experiment, then um, remember to click like, click subscribe, and I'll see you next time.